Good afternoon, class. My name is Sergeant Wood, and today I will be giving an unclassified brief on the Army values. Our agenda will have an introduction, we will define the Army values, we will talk about the history of the Army values, we will analyze what each of the Army values means, I will conclude, and then I will answer any questions that anyone might have. So the purpose of this presentation is to describe the Army values and the impact they have on both personal and professional life. The Army has seven core values that troops must follow. These values are leadership, duty, respect, selfless service, honor, integrity, and personal courage. The acronym of leadership is often used to reference these values. It is important for soldiers to recognize what these values mean, their history, and how to apply them. Soldiers will find that by living these values, they will significantly improve both professional and personal lives. Getting into the history of the Army values, the U.S. Army seeks to deter war by being ready to fight at all times and to win while also maintaining a strong moral reputation. Maintaining this goal has meant that values and character development have been very important to the Army throughout its existence. George Washington, during the American Revolution, included proper behavior in his first general orders. This precedent was expanded on during the Civil War by President Abraham Lincoln. President Lincoln issued the Lieber Code, which were expectations for the military. The code explained how military members should conduct themselves during wartime. As the 20th century progressed, the U.S. and the Army became more and more involved in world affairs. As we were more involved in world affairs, there was focus that continued to be put on character development. Strong morals became even more of a priority after the May Lai massacre in Vietnam. This tragedy occurred in 1968, where U.S. troops brutally murdered unarmed civilians in the village of May Lai. A U.S. helicopter pilot stopped the attack, placing his aircraft between the soldiers and the villagers. Demonstrating great personal courage, he threatened to open fire if the soldiers continued their attack. This event uh, prompted a greater focus on character development through the 1980s and 1990s. The seven army values that we know now are a culmination of these efforts. Now to describe each of the army values a little bit more and understand how each of these Army values supports the other. This combination of values creates cohesion between people and builds resiliency for individuals. So our first value we're looking at is loyalty. Loyalty is demonstrating faith and allegiance to the U.S. Constitution, the Army, the unit, and other soldiers. This is critical to the success of any organization and especially true in the military. Loyalty means an individual can be trusted to act with the team's best interests in mind, placing the mission first. Duty. Duty is to fulfill obligations. These are more than just assigned tasks. These obligations mean doing things the right way, supporting others, not taking the easy way. It doesn't matter if the duty is unpleasant, we must accomplish them without complaining to demonstrate this value. Respect. Respect is to treat people in a dignified and empathetic manner. All human beings have thoughts and feelings. All individuals want respect, and respect must be given to all. In order to have respect for others, this starts with within ourselves, and we must have self-respect to start. Selfless service is to put the welfare of the nation, the army, and your subordinates 
above your own. This means you consider the needs of others, not individual gain. Individuals need to be committed to the mission and do it to the best of their ability. The end goal is the success of the mission. Personal accolades, recognition, glory, these things are not necessary. Honor. Honor is a culmination of the other six army values. It is a somewhat difficult concept to define. However, like respect and integrity, it is an intrinsic trait. It is summarized as living the army values and using them in day-to-day -day activities. By combining these army values, you are living a life of honor. Integrity, this is doing the right thing legally and morally. This value is significant because it is intrinsic, meaning it comes from within and needs to be demonstrated at all times, no matter the situation, no matter the witnesses. Having integrity allows an individual to live the other values as well. And it is a cliche, but doing the right thing, even if no one is watching, describes the concept of integrity very well. Lastly, personal courage is facing fear and achieving goals despite that fear. Contrary to popular belief, this is not, does not mean that you don't have fear. It just means that despite your fear, you still do what needs to be done. Personal courage can manifest in many ways. Uh, combat, all the way to supporting an unpopular opinion because it is the right thing to do. Living the Army values will positively impact both the professional and personal lives of the soldier. It is unfortunate that not all people live these values. However, those that do are trusted by both peers and by leadership. This in turn builds trust and a greater ability to respond to the hurdles that life provides. This is true both in, as a soldier and interacting with those in your personal life. Being a trustworthy person and of high character is something that everyone in your life will appreciate. This is true in the Army, civilian careers, and relationships with friends and significant others. The Army values provide a framework for success in the Army and life in general. They have a long tradition of importance in the U.S. Army, and every soldier should adhere to the tenets of leadership. Every value guides how to handle life's difficulties, and many problems in the world would disappear if more individuals lived life with these Army values. Are there any questions? This concludes my brief. Thank you so much.